Hi, I'm Bob Cedro, and I'm Senior Engineer at Dunlop Manufacturing, and I'm with our good buddies, Flow Guitar Enthusiasts, and Brian Keogh. Hello! Thank you for stopping by. You know, Dunlop is celebrating their 50th anniversary of business, and to do a big 2015 celebration, we came out with some really cool pedals for you, which we're going to hit on right now. The thing that's powering all this is the ISO brick, MXR ISO brick, the M238. The cool thing about this is that we've modernized the brick so they can actually power digital effects. It's got 10 outputs, two 18 volts, it's got eight 9 volts. Two of the 9 volts are high power, 450 milliamp delivery. Also, it has two 9 volt output sags, so you can have 9 volts, 15 volts for over voltage or goes down to about, I think, six volts? Six, six and a half. Six, six and a half. Great for fuzz faces, distortions, overdrives. It brings out a total different tonality. Whether you want more headroom, you dial up to about 15. If you want squishy, saucy, overdriven, saggy, bring it down to six. It, it changes the whole tone of guitar pedal um, uh, in the distortion range. Uh, so you, basically, you can, you can tailor each, each distortion or overdrive with voltage. Really cool. That all comes with, yes? Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that all comes in a, in a box, cool to the touch, even though you're running full load, it's all very, uh, 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 very uh, ergonomic, uh, efficient, and it also has LEDs on the front, which indicate when something is plugged in, the power is active, and if there's a short or something wrong in your pedal, it'll actually extinguish. So it also has a status, power status. That's new for 2015. Pedal board friendly size. Very pedal board friendly size. One thing that a lot of guys have been talking about is that if you have outputs on both sides, you, can't, you can only mount it one way. Well this, the actual production uh, uh, power supply that comes with it is actually right angle. You can mount it this way on each end. The only surface you can't mount, mount it, obviously, would be where the outputs are. So you can put it in any angle, very pedal board friendly. First we're going to show you what the brick can do to change the face of this fuzz face. And I'm just going to roll it in and out while Brian plays and you'll hear the difference. Right now, the, it's all cranked up. Very big headroom. Now I'm going to squish it down. All compressed. Now I'm going to open it up. Just turn up the voltage. The dynamic range starts to come more into play. I could actually change the tone with voltage. Very cool. Really nice trick for the ISO brick. 